For 20 years, the electromagnetic railgun was the weapon of the future, and it seemed like it always would be. The United States Navy poured billions into the concept, only to abandon it in 2022, defeated by the laws of physics and engineering hurdles that seemed impossible to overcome. The world assumed the dream was dead. China assumed they had won the naval technology race. They were wrong. While Washington closed its railgun files, Tokyo opened theirs. Quietly, methodically, Japan's Acquisition Technology and Logistics Agency, ATLA, took the concept and perfected it. And now, in January 2026, they haven't just built a working railgun, they've done something far more terrifying to their adversaries. They have linked it to the ultimate high ground. This isn't just a new cannon on a ship, this is the birth of the space-linked kinetic shield. It is a weapon system that combines Japanese precision engineering with the U.S. Space Force's god-eye view of the planet. Today, we're revealing why the U.S. and Japan just rendered Mach 5 hypersonic missiles obsolete and how this $100 billion strategic shift changes the rules of war in the Pacific forever. To understand why this is such a massive deal in 2026, we have to look back at the breakthrough that stunned military observers. While other nations were focused on lasers or more missiles, Japan's ATLA was achieving what was previously thought impossible, a successful, repeatable railgun test at sea. The challenge of a railgun isn't just firing it once, it's firing it repeatedly without melting the barrel or destroying the ship's electronics with massive electromagnetic pulses. Traditional cannons use chemical explosives, gunpowder, to launch a shell. A railgun uses pure electricity. It dumps massive amounts of current into parallel rails, creating a magnetic field so powerful it accelerates a solid metal slug to hypersonic speeds instantly. If you are interested in the modern warfare topics, then please take a second to like the video and subscribe to our channel. Thank you. Japan's breakthrough, conducted aboard the test ship JS Asuka, proved they had solved the durability issues that plagued earlier American designs. They didn't just build a lab experiment, they built a maritime weapon capable of firing a 40mm round using 5 megajoules of charge energy. But the most insane part of this engineering isn't the gun itself, it's how they keep it stable. Sources indicate that to manage the immense recoil and vibration of launching a projectile at Mach 7 from a moving ship, Japanese engineers utilized advanced seismic dampening technology, the same principles used to keep Tokyo's skyscrapers standing during massive earthquakes. They essentially earthquake-proofed the weapon against its own power. This level of precision engineering created a stable firing platform at sea, something no other nation had achieved. But a gun, no matter how fast, is useless if it can't hit a moving target 300 miles away. That's where the United States enters the picture. This is the secret sauce of the 2026 strategy. This is why the video title says Space Linked. A railgun slug is dumb. It has no guidance computer, no fins to steer it, and no seeker head. Once it leaves the barrel, it's just a metal bullet flying on physics alone. To hit a maneuvering hypersonic glide vehicle traveling at Mach 5, your initial aim has to be perfect. You need to know exactly where the target will be, not where it is. For years, ships relied on their own radar, which is limited by the horizon. By the time a ship's radar sees a sea-skimming hypersonic missile, it's already too late. Enter the U.S. Space Force and the HBTSS layer. These are next-generation satellites designed specifically to track the faint heat signatures of hypersonic weapons from launch to impact. Under the new 2026 U.S.-Japan Defense Integration Guidelines, this data isn't just going to the Pentagon, it's being beamed directly in real time to the fire control computers of Japanese railgun-equipped ships. The satellite provides the god-eye view, calculating the exact trajectory of the incoming threat. 
the Japanese railgun provides the instant kill capability. This synergy transforms a dumb bullet into the world's smartest kinetic interceptor. It creates a defensive umbrella where the US provides the eyes and Japan provides the fist. Let's talk about the raw numbers, because this is where the railgun changes the economic reality of warfare. During its proof-of-concept tests, Japan's prototype demonstrated a muzzle velocity of 2,230 meters per second. That is roughly Mach 6.5, or over 5,000 miles per hour. And remember, this is just the prototype. Operational versions in 2026 are expected to push even faster. Why does this matter? Because current missile defense is a losing economic game. If an adversary fires a swarm of $500,000 drones or cruise missiles and you have to use $10 million interceptor missiles to stop them, you will go bankrupt before you win the war. The railgun slug has no explosives inside. It doesn't need them. At Mach 7, the kinetic energy of the impact alone is devastating. It's like being hit by a meteorite. A solid metal slug impacting a ship or an incoming missile at that speed vaporizes the target instantly. Furthermore, the ammunition is cheap, inert, and compact. A destroyer that could carry 90 heavy missile interceptors can now carry hundreds, perhaps thousands of railgun slugs. This creates what strategists call a deep magazine. It becomes nearly impossible for an enemy to overwhelm the ship's defenses through sheer volume of fire. As long as the ship's reactors can generate power, the railgun can keep firing. In a sustained conflict in the Pacific, this unlimited ammo cheat code is the ultimate advantage. This technology isn't happening in a vacuum. It is the centerpiece of a massive geopolitical shift that has fully materialized here in 2026. Japan has shattered its pacifist past. The government approved a record-breaking defense budget that exceeded 9 trillion yen, over 58 billion USD for fiscal year 2026 alone, part of a larger five-year $275 billion buildup. A significant chunk of this funding is dedicated to securing the standoff defense capabilities needed to protect the extensive island chains that serve as the first line of defense against expansionist powers in Asia. For our viewers in the Philippines and Australia, this is crucial. A Japanese fleet armed with space-linked railguns acts as a mobile, impenetrable shield along the first island chain. It denies adversaries the ability to use hypersonic coercion to bully neighboring nations. The 2026 strategy is clear. Japan is no longer just building shields, they are building swords. The railgun's extreme range and speed also give it an offensive counter-strike potential, capable of hitting coastal installations or naval staging areas hundreds of miles away in minutes, without the political baggage of launching a cruise missile. The unveiling of the space-linked railgun isn't just a new weapon announcement, it's a declaration that the hypersonic era, which was supposed to belong to America's rivals, may be over before it truly began. Billions of dollars invested by other nations in hypersonic glide vehicles are now at risk of being neutralized by a solid metal slug that costs a fraction of the price. The combination of American space dominance and Japanese engineering precision has created a capability gap that cannot be closed overnight. The oceans of 2026 are patrolled by a new kind of power, one that is silent, electric, and strikes at seven times the speed of sound. The sleeping giant of Japanese military tech has awakened, and it's armed with lightning. But what do you think? Is the railgun truly the ultimate defense, or will new countermeasures be developed to stop it? Let us know in the comments below. And if you want to see how this tech stacks up against China's latest naval developments, click the video on your screen right now. Thanks for watching, and stay tuned as we continue to cover the future warfare.